सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद मॉड्यूल फाइव दैट इज टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क एंड वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद चैप्टर वन एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड वन काइंड ऑफ पैरामीटर्स दैट इज इम्पीडेंस पैरामीटर्स और जेड पैरामीटर्स वी हैव सॉल्व टू प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू दैट एंड वी हैव एक्सप्लेन द जेड पैरामीटर्स very easily so now if you know that z parameters very well you can easily understand this y parameters because this is just the reciprocal of z parameters okay if you understood how to solve those problems even these kind of problems are also very easy okay so let us try to understand this uh, y parameters first what are these y parameters they are obtained by expressing currents at two ports in terms of voltages at two ports okay this is just the reciprocal here in this case in the z parameters what we had the dependent variables we had v1 and v2 now in y parameters uh, which in, instead of voltage take current and instead of current take voltage that is dependent sources now would be current sources i1 and i2 and independent source independent variables are v1 and v2 okay so now this is in this way that is i1 would be the function of v1 and v2 and i2 also would be the function of v1 and v2 okay this is just the reciprocal of z parameters so if you know this try to write the equation for i1 and i2 that is i have written it here that is i1 is equal to i is equal to v by r right so v1 divided by z11 plus v2 divided by z12 and we know that 1 by z is equal to y and also i2 v1 by z21 and v2 by z22 so what we would be getting 1 divided by z11 that is equal to y11 and this is v1 1 divided by z12 is y12 v2 similarly we have y21 v1 and y22 v2 so these are the set of equations in case of y parameters that is for i1 and i2 i1 is equal to y11 v1 plus y12 v2 i2 is equal to y21 v1 plus y22 v2 in this also our goal here is to find the individual parameters y11 y12 y21 and y22 by taking the condition that either one v either v1 would be equal to 0 or v2 would be equal to 0 okay so now write write this in matrix form in which i already discussed in uh, z parameters in the same way i1 i2 then all the coefficients in one form and v1 and v2 so now our goal is to find this value y11 so when we can find this y11 value whenever we have this v2 equal to 0 whenever we have v2 equal to 0 We would, this whole term would be equal to zero. We would be left with i one is equal to y one one v one. So y one one would be equal to i one divided by v one. That is i by v. V by y v uh, r is equal to v by i. That is uh, uh, represented is in ohm. And y that is admittance. That is the reciprocal part. So i by v. So that is represented in mo, which I already told you. This stands for mo. That is reciprocal of ohm, right? so we can say that this is short circuit input admittance not impedance and this is admittance similarly y12 when we can find y12 when this term is equal to 0 what we would be getting y12 as i1 divided by v2 when the applied with the condition that v1 would be equal to 0 again we have i by v so that is short circuit forward transfer admittance since we have i1 and v2 so that's why this is forward transfer admittance similarly y21 that is equal to this term would be equal to 0 we would be left with i2 divided by v1 when v2 is equal to 0 again this is i by v form so again it is represented as mo short circuit reverse transfer admittance again and similarly y22 this v1 should be equal to 0 for that and we would be getting the value as i2 divided by v2 again i by v in terms of ohm and short circuit since we have 2 2 here and here we have 1 1 so 1 1 starts for input and 2 2 stands for output so short circuit output admittance okay so like this with this four things and i have written the equivalent network also for uh, uh, y parameters you can uh, go through it okay if you know z parameters very well y parameters is very easy okay so i have tried to explain it so go through it and now let us solve some problems related to y parameters and make it clear about this y parameters okay similar to that of z parameters only some of the changes are there which i am going to tell you So let us solve some problems. So this is the first problem related to y parameters. I have written the set of equations and this here because uh, it is necessary. Because why I tell you? So this is the first problem again. In this case, find y parameters in the given two port network. So this is the complex network here. They are given again. The in the in the this is of the same form, but now 
now you, uh, if you want to save time which in uh, as a parameter we have solved problem uh, by using mesh analysis right we can solve this kind of problems directly by using the definitions that is formulas here which i have written here by using this only we can solve the problem very easily that is what we should be doing is we should be dividing this into two parts two segments one is for v2 equal to 0 and v1 equal to 0 first thing let us consider when v2 equal to 0 when this v2 is equal to 0 what would be what would be happening is these two would be getting joined that is if you want to eliminate this v2 or make v2 equal to 0 what can be done is we've told that whenever we want to eliminate any voltage source we should be making short circuit right so this is here in this case we have v2 source in order to eliminate this that is in order to nullify this you should be making short circuit right that is clear right and one more thing is that when this v2 is 0 what what are the values we get when this v2 is 0 we would be getting these two values that is y11 as well as y21 right so this is the first part of the circuit the second part of the circuit is when v1 equal to 0 that is v1 when it is equal to 0 we should be making this part short circuit and solving okay using uh, the regular mesh analysis and what and that time what values we would be getting we would be getting the values of y12 and y22 right so like that we should be making segments and solving these kind of problems okay in z parameters i have not told you that because uh, it was the introduction part i have just introduced that z parameters by making you solve using mesh analysis only so that you would understand so in this case i am going to solve it in this condition only that is first condition i have applied when v2 equal to 0 rewrite the circuit now okay what the circuit would be looking when v2 equal to 0 that is this part would be remaining as it is that is plus minus v1 and this is i1 and here we have 2 ohm so this so dependent source won't be touching that is this is 0 0.2 v2 and then we have one more dependent source plus minus this is 10 v1 this is 10 ohm and this v2 now is equal to 0 that is short circuit right so that is this v2 equal to 0 this is uh, 4 ohm and this is i2 right so this is the circuit after we took v2 equal to 0 hope this is clear now what to do we know that v2 is equal to 0 right and this is one current source and this whole branch is for current source and this is a voltage controlled current source this voltage is controlling this current source but we know that v2 is nullified here so this whole term would be getting equal to 0 because 0.2 into 0 is 0 and this branch is now gone because this whole branch would be eliminated now because 0.2 v2 so and v2 equal to 0 so we can reduce still more and write this circuit as i1 current this is v1 this is 2 ohm this whole branch would be eliminated we would be left with only one dependent source now that is 10 v1 along with 4 ohm resistance and i2 current so name this loop as i1 now and name this loop as i2 and solve now using mesh analysis very simple loops now we don't have complex components so now mesh analysis won't be taking much time loop i1 apply kvl start from this v1 v1 then we have minus 2 i1 equal to 0 that is v1 would be equal to 2 i1 right but we've got this condition here but we have known that whenever v2 equal to 0 what and all are the parameters we are uh, uh, solving for that is y11 and y22 if we compare carefully these two y11 and y22 sorry y11 and y21 right not y22 y11 and y21 okay for v2 equal to 0 we have this equation which consists of v1 and i1 terms okay so now compare these two equations and see in which equations we have both v1 and i1 in y21 if we see we have i2 and v1 we don't have i1 and in this equation we have both i1 and v1 for v2 equal to 0 so 
by this conclusion we can say that we can solve this equation for y11 okay so we know that what is y11 equal to i1 by v1 right so now bring this equation in this form that is i1 by v1 form how we can bring it so consider this equation again v1 equal to 2i1 so bring this v1 to another, another side that is we have 1 here equal to 2 into i1 by v1 because we need to bring this in terms of i1 by v1 because we can directly write i1 by v1 equal to i11 and we would be getting the answer right so that's why now bring this 2 to another side so what we would be getting i1 by v1 is equal to 2 if you bring it that side it would be 1 by 2 right so i1 by v1 equal to 1 by 2 and we know that what is i1 by v1 y11 is equal to 1 by 2 so like this we got the value of y11 okay by using the first loop condition now again the same thing in order to get the value of y21 for v2 equal to 0 we should be having the equation in terms of i2 and v1 right that here if you solve for this loop you solve using this loop we would be getting in terms of v1 and i2 see here so now apply a node uh, mesh analysis to this loop i am doing it here only start from this part this resistor that is minus 4 i2 then we have minus sign that is minus 10 v1 equal to 0 what we would be getting minus 4 i2 is equal to minus 10 if you bring it to the side it would be 10 v1 and also now in order to find y21 it should be of the form i2 by v1 so again the same thing bring i2 by v1 to one side that v1 i have divided here that is equal to 10 and bring this minus sign also along with this 4 that is i2 by v1 is equal to y21 that is equal to minus 10 by 4 okay like this we have got y11 as well as y21 for the condition v2 equal to 0 we have also applied this condition v2 equal to 0 and made this short circuit and we have eliminated this dependent source because this v2 equal to 0 and this whole branch would be getting eliminated and we have reduced this circuit and for this individually we have applied mesh analysis solved reduced it to the form i1 by v1 and i2 by v1 and solved for y11 and y21 okay hope this is clear now the problem is not done yet now we should be applying the second uh, circumstance that is the second part that is now we should be making v1 equal to 0 and solving for the other two parameters that is y12 and y22 okay for y12 we should be having the equation in terms of i1 by i1 and v2 and y22 we should be having the equation in terms of i2 and v2 okay hope this is clear let us solve that as well now Okay, when v1 equal to 0, again v1 would be short circuited now. So this would be v1 equal to 0. Then rest all the terms, write it as it is. i1. Here we had resistor 2 ohm. And here we have one dependent source, right? That is the current uh, voltage control current source 0.2 v2. Then we have here one more dependent source that is 10 v1. Then we have this resistance I2 current and this is 4 ohm resistance. This is V2. Now if you observe carefully here we have reduced this right. V1 equal to 0 so this whole branch again would be getting eliminated. This would be getting eliminated. In order to eliminate this, in order to nullify this, to remove this, what we should be doing is, I have told you right if this is equal to 0 we cannot eliminate this complete branch because this is a voltage controlled voltage source so we should be making short circuit okay so again rewrite the circuit this is 2 ohm this is 0.2 v2 now this should be short circuited now this is 4 ohm this is I2 current here. Here we have I1. So this is plus minus V2. And we have reduced it. Okay. Now, very easy part. That is now you should be have, we are having a we can still more reduce this circuit as you can see here here we don't have any resistance and these two are in parallel we can consider this as 0 ohm so equivalent resistance if you want to convert this to a single resistance what you should be doing 
apply the equivalent parallel condition that is 2 into 0 divided by 2 plus 0 that is 0 divided by 2 that is 0. So this whole these two branches would be getting completely ignored. Why? Because we don't have any resistance. If we take the parallel equivalent resistance that would be equal to 0. So again rewrite the circuit now. We don't we won't be having these resistances here. We would be left with only one I1 current along with this dependent source. This is point 0.2 V2. Like this you can uh, reduce the circuit when we use these kind of conditions. That is V2 equal to 0 and V1 equal to 0. So that's why I prefer this method to be solved. Because this is very easy and not much time consuming. Okay. I am taking time because in order to make you understand I have, taken, I have taken this much time. But this, this kind of method would be done in uh, 5 minutes because this is very easy. This is V1 equal to 0 here. So now this we can name it as loop I1 and this we can name it as loop I2 with 4 ohm resistor. Okay, like this we have reduced it. Now simply apply KVL for uh, first for loop uh, I1 here. That is loop I1 apply mesh analysis. So start from uh, what where to start from we can directly write this I1 is equal to since this is a current source only so we can write I1 is equal to point 0.2 V2 directly because this is a current source current this current is flowing through this loop that is I1 current and these two are equal. So now if we compare here this equation we have in terms of I1 and V2 and we know that what is I1 by V2 is equal to that is equal to Y12 right. So now what we can do is I1 divided by V2 bring it to other side what we would be left with in this side 0.2 right. I1 we kept it here this V2 we brought it to other side and this 0.2 we have not touched it. So what is I1 by V2? Y12 that is equal to 0.2 mo. I forgot to write the unit here okay please write this is mo here also this is mo okay. The units you should be writing, the units carries marks. So we have found one y12. One more parameter is y22. That is equal to i2 by v2. Right. That is equal to y22. Now apply for loop i2. That is this loop. Apply mesh analysis. That is plus v2. Then we have minus 4i2 equal to 0. So v2 is equal to minus 4i2. Bring it to the other side to be 4i2. So I2 by V2. So I2 and bring this V2 down. That is equal to here. Now we would be left with 1. The coefficient of V2 is 1. And bring this 4 to other side. So what is I2 by V2? That is equal to Y22 is equal to 1 by 4 mu. Okay. Hope this is clear. So we have solved for all 4 parameters. Now finally write the Y matrix. Y11 is 1 by 2 y12 we have solved that is 0 0.2 then y21 is minus 10 by 4 and y22 is 1 by 4 more okay so these are this is our final answer for y para parameter matrix so hope this problem is very clear to you all okay i've taken a lot of time to solve this we have one more problem let us solve that one more problem and why in this session okay so I, I don't have time to solve that one more problem. So I'm going to wind this session here only because this video would be much lengthier. So that's all for this session guys. Like, share, subscribe to our channel. We have two more problems to be solved related to Y parameters which are going to see in next session. Okay. So please like, share, subscribe, share this playlist to a huge number and uh, like our videos and support us guys. Thank you.